What's up, Fast Fit? You know, if you missed your Monday workout, not only did you miss a thrilling workout consisting of T-Rex muscle-ups, pistol squats, and the such, this workout was so amazing that it came with its own PowerPoint presentation. That's how awesome it was. And I want to give you guys a little recap on this. I'm calling this Fast Fit 2.0 from circuit training to cross training. And I got to say, I could not be more pumped about this. So just kind of catch you up if you have been um, off the grid, so to speak. But we are, we've had one kind of training space for several years, actually for longer than that. But uh, we're transitioning from one studio into two studios each with its own theme. One's going to be more based towards circuit training, classic fast fit. One's going to be more geared towards strength training. And we're going to utilize these two different training studios simultaneously to do both interval training and strength work uh, in the same session. Uh, now, because of that, we are going to make a little shift from 30-minute workouts to 40-minute sessions that I call cross-training sessions. And I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but this is uh, definitely going to kind of take it to the next level, and I'm uh, really excited about this. I know some of you guys have already given me great feedback on it, love to hear it, uh, love the positivity and, and the excitement about it. So uh, we're going to get this started, not this week, but we will starting um, next week. So let's kind of get into this. So the 40-minute session, so it's 10 extra minutes. So typically what we would do is we would do a 10-minute warm-up and then 20 minutes of circuit training and that's it. Try to get everything in in under 30 minutes. Uh, by going to 40 minutes, it allows me, I know personally, to be able to incorporate more stuff in. So what this is gonna look like, we'll still do the same 10 minute mobility, core activation warm up that we are used to, Spider-Man lunges, inchworms, bootstrappers, foam rolling, all that stuff there. To get you warmed up, that's your pre-workout routine. And then we're gonna go into 15 or 20 minutes of circuit training. Again, kind of the classic fast fit style of training. Some days it may be 15 minutes of circuit, some days it may be 20 minutes of circuit, but it's gonna be a phase to where we do some type of circuit interval work and then transition into what I'm gonna call cross training. Now cross training means different things to different people um, and it is gonna be for you. So for some of you, it is gonna be strength work. Uh, some of you are really interested in doing kind of the body sculpting, but let me take a different approach to it. Take like an NFL offensive lineman who has to maintain a certain size and muscle mass in order to be able to block and play professional football. So obviously there's a lot of weightlifting involved with that person, but that lineman may cross train with yoga. Now yoga doesn't make them be able to block better put 30 pounds of muscle on their body, it's not gonna do that. What does yoga do for them? It fills in the gaps that they don't get of what they don't get from playing football, which is the flexibility, stretching aspect of it. So NFL offensive linemen may cross train with yoga. For some people, maybe something different. Uh, runners often use kettlebell swings and core work to build their core up, because that's what they need to do running. So you can get kind of the cross training aspect. For a lot of you guys, it might be uh, you, hey, you don't have 30 pounds of weight loss that you need, you want to tighten and tone. So we're going to get into things like more body sculpting uh, in that last 15, 20 minutes of the workout. So that could be strength training, bodybuilding, body sculpting, that aspect of it. For some people, you may want to cross train to get more flexibility in your body, more joint mobility work, uh, get out of pain. And for some of you, it could be you do have weight loss, your cross training might be to do some additional rapid fat loss cardio. And uh, I get to tell you, man, shout out to Sharon Rockers. Uh, think in May, we did, <clears throat> yeah, I know it was, we did the Memorial Day meltdown. And part of your plan was to do the 20 minutes of circuit work and then 15, 20 minutes of low intensity aerobic based work. So the low intensity aerobic work is just like, you know, you do something at a low enough intensity that you can sustain it. Uh, you keep your heart rate between, let's say, 120 and 150 or 155. Uh, it's lower intensity. It's aerobic base. But that is great to get rid of some stubborn belly fat. And she had success with that in May and continued to do it all throughout June, uh, which is remarkable. So we would do our circuit work. Then afterwards, she'd get her aerobic step or whatever she's doing and just put on time on the clock and just get it in. 
So that's cross training. And she saw great results from that. So <clears throat> that's an example of it. Uh, but cross training for you guys can be any of these three. So this is where I want to be <clears throat> in this Fast Fit 2.0 to be much more intentional with the workouts. So versus we all come in and just do the workout of the day, it's very specialized. Yeah, we all get in our 15, 20 minutes of circuit training, but then we specialize. Those that want to tighten and tone, great. Those that need to melt off some pounds, great. Those that need to work on flexibility, awesome. And uh, so that really, the two training facilities is going to now allow us to have a circuit training room and then a room for specialty work. So that's, that's really the vision of it. Again, cannot be happier. And then we'd finish off with a, you know, optional five minute cool down. All right, now that we know what cross training is, let's look at the cross training schedule. And it's going to be similar, but a little bit different emphasis. Uh, it's going to be instead of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's going to be Monday through Thursday as far as the schedule goes and on Saturday also. Um, and this is just my cross training schedule for what I'm going to do because I'm going to be doing most all the sessions. If you've ever wanted to exclusively train with me, here's your chance. When you hear that you're exclusively training with me, many of you cringe, and that's probably a deal breaker, and I totally understand. But um, this is just my schedule because, you know, Holly and Aaron and Jackie and Sandra are, they're going to do some pop-up classes as they choose, but they're not going to be on the schedule, so to speak. So I'm going to be taking over all the schedule, and then they can as they like. So for instance, if, if Aaron wants to run a 4.30 on a Thursday, she can. If Holly wants to run a class at some point in time, she can. If Jackie wants to do, and I know she's going to continue to do a 6.30 Monday, Wednesday, as she likes, but there will be a point in time where she doesn't. I mean, Sanders having to step away from training for a few months, and Jackie is expecting, and Holly and Aaron are busy bees with kids in school. So uh, they will post if they're going to do a class. Otherwise, it's just me. Okay, so this is my schedule. This is what I can do. I can do a 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 4.30 and 5.30 p.m. And just keep in mind what's not on there is Jackie's going to continue to do a 6.30 Monday, Wednesday, as long as she feels like it. All right, so now that we've got that, here's how the format's going to go. So I'm going to do on Monday for these time slots, and I'll just take like the 7 a.m. group. Uh, I'm going to run a very high-quality 40-minute personalized session for that group at 7 a.m. on Monday. On Tuesdays at 7 a.m., the gym's going to be open. Wednesday, 7 a.m., I'm going to run another quality 40-minute personalized session. Thursday at 7 a.m., the gym will be open. Okay, so that's going to be the format for all four of those sessions, all four days in a row. There'll be a cross-training session followed by open gym, repeat. And then Saturday, there'll either be a uh, uh, – Jackie will do a class like she normally does, or I'll be doing a kettlebell club slash – coffee and kettlebells that I want to bring back. So all that's going to be going on. Um, and again, pop-up classes will just be posted on our Facebook page. So uh, make sure you follow that page so you know all the uh, latest happenings. And lastly, one final addition that I want to make to FastFit 2.0 is in the past, we have only had one membership option. Like you don't have any options other than just what you have, and that is uh, what I call our express membership. So that's, that's the plan all you guys have. Nothing changes in that plan. It stays the same. Whatever you pay now, you pay moving forward. So there's, there's no change in the express plan. What I want to add on to, though, is to give people options. Some of you have asked for different things to add on to your membership, and I've never had that um, flexibility before, but now I do. So put together what I call a VIP membership, and this is simply just a $49 add-on. So you can add this on to any month you choose. You could add it on a month, take it off a month. You could do it for several months in a row, not do it for a year. Um, it's just strictly up to you. You can flip it on, flip it off as needed. And here's what this membership level is going to include. Typically, the requests that I get are for things that I would normally reserve for private and semi-private training clients only. So, for example, to give you a sense of this, a lot of my one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two -on -two clients, I meet with sometimes once a week, at most twice a week, sometimes once every other week. So what I have to do is, in between our sessions, I have to give them a program to follow to help them meet their goals, especially if they're only going to meet with me once every two weeks. So 
that's what I want to include with this. So if you are, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, or whatever, you need to have a program to follow in between our sessions. So what I'm going to do with the VIP is you're going to get, for those 30 days, a 30-day individualized program. I'm just going to use the person that wants more muscle definition. They want to tighten and tone, get some more, um, you know, see a little bit more lean muscle gain in their body. So they would get a four workout routine that they would do here at the gym. Could be modified for at home. Um, I do have people that, that live out of town and they don't have access to a gym, so I have to create this for an at-home program. But for the most part, it would be here. Now, it's not going to be interval-based. It's not going to be time-based. It's a program uh, they follow when they're not with me. You're going to get your interval workouts with me. This would be four additional strength training workouts that you could do, usually between 15 to 20 minutes at a time, and it would be four of them, a workout A, B, C, D. Now, you could do these after your sessions with me. You could do it in between your sessions with me. You could do it on the weekends. Part of what I also want to do with this level is give the VIP members, and I can't believe I'm doing this, 24-7 gym access. Now, what does that look like? Well, still working on the logistics. I don't know if we're going to, uh, <clears throat> you know, implement a, you know, the, the keypad on the door or some kind of key card or whether I just entrust these people with an actual key to the gym. But if you're going to do the VIP level and you're going to do this program that I'm going to give you, you're going to have to have access to the gym, and um, even if I'm not here. So I'm going to be able to give you guys total availability slash total trust and come over and get your workouts in. So again, if, if you want to do this, this could also be geared towards more of a um, rapid fat loss cardio program or something else. You do that, you get the gym access, and this, this also is going to come with nutritional coaching. So you for 30 days, you get a nutritional um I don't want to say just a plan because you will get like a plan to follow, but it's more coaching with me. So I want to deep dive and literally give you guys what I would do with personal training. So if you look at these levels, you have group training at the bottom, personal training at the top. This VIP plan is kind of the tweener in between those. So hope that makes sense. If you're interested in this, just reach out to me, ask some questions, and I'll be glad to answer it. And again, this is something you could do it for 30 days. By the way, great to do on challenge months, like uh, you know, in September, we're going to do our pre-holiday shred. January, we do our post-holiday shred. Great to turn this on for those months and uh, uh, kind of ramp things up when you have that availability. All right, so this is going to kickstart for August. Now, August 1st is kind of the official transition to into this new space. So we're going to close down August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Those three days to remodel move equipment, get everything set up. Um, I know it's the first of the week, but you know we'll try to maybe, hopefully on the 4th, that Thursday, try to get in maybe a session or two on Thursday and Saturday, and then really roll this out full throttle on, um, on Monday the 8th. So uh, that's a look at it. Uh, man, could not be more excited about it. A lot of you have requested to be able to get more strength training into your circuit workout, and especially when, uh, I mean, I don't think what we do is strictly cardio, but I get a lot of you say that, well, I get enough cardio as it is. I want to add this to the program. So I know a lot of you are excited about it. I'm pumped about it. And to be able to have two facilities running simultaneously, uh, ideally a trainer in each gym, we'll see how that works out, but um, would be very, uh, it'd take it to the next level. And I think that's what we all want. So I'm pumped about it. FastFit 2.0 from circuit training to cross training. Uh, I'm really excited and uh, looking forward to uh, taking you guys there soon. Take care.